Anterior Guidance. The thing I find exciting about bite effects is I can take a patient like Rick who had things he really wasn't aware of. He wasn't having any pain, any muscle soreness or any jaw pain, but had signs. And using visualization, we helped Rick see his signs and we related that to a definitive treatment that would solve his problem. Because he didn't have any anterior guidance, he was wearing down his back teeth and getting receding gums. So we used digital photography to help him see it as preclinical examination, some of the things I was concerned about with his bite. Namely, his front teeth have been worn down severely and he didn't have any anterior guidance which wouldn't allow him to separate his back teeth when he would slide sideways at night. In addition to having severe wear on the front teeth, he was experiencing fractions and sensitivity and looseness on the premolars and also excessive wear. This is Rick's upper right quadrant. Here's the severe wear on the anterior canines and the wear on the buccal aspects of the uh, premolars and severe wear and looseness and sensitivity on the molars due to lack of anterior guidance. Now using bite effects, I'm able to visually demonstrate to Rick what anterior guidance should look like clinically. Using a photograph of someone with anterior guidance, Rick was able to see that as the canines contact, the back teeth should instantly separate throughout the entire mouth. Bite effects animations, I was able to demonstrate that when the jaw is in its proper pivot point in the centric relation position, all the teeth contact simultaneously with equal pressure and equal intensity. The role of the front teeth is not just to look nice, but to separate the back teeth. So they have a very functional role in protecting the back teeth from hitting with sideways forces. And I was able to demonstrate that to Rick. Again, using bite effects, we were demonstrating another role of the front teeth, which is to separate the back teeth if the patient were to slide forward with their teeth apart. This is just the digital picture of a client in a closed bite, and then as they slide forward, that they guide on the front teeth and their separation instantaneously on all the back teeth. Using this in animation form, and Rick was able to see the relationship between the temporomandibular joint leaving its pivot point and the front teeth protecting the back teeth as the system slides forward and downward. We have the benefit here of accepted treatment and completed treatment and this again is Rick's mouth in lateral uh, movement, right lateral movement before treatment and this is after restorations of the anterior eight teeth. And you can see the canine guidance and separation of the back teeth.